let's do a tour of my parents' place. And it is late September and check out the abundance of food. So here's a papaya tree and they have several on this property and it's got several batches of fruit. And as you come down the tree, there's a dragon fruit tied to it, climbing it. And here is a immature cherry moya tree that's grafted. Some spent amaranth. More dragon fruit. Some sweet potato vines. Tons and tons of dragon fruit. A mango tree, which earlier in the year I saw quite a few fruit. Which makes sense that the season's going down because it's um, fall and it likes the heat of the summer. More dragon fruit being propped up with various vines. Giant guavas. I don't know if you can see them. There's one right there. There's another. There's yet another. And another. Two right there. Another right there. So this Asian white guava. And Cherry Moya, huge. This is this has been here as long as I used to live here. This is my parents' place, and I have been married for a while. Here is a cute little Cherry Moya. So we have it also at our house, but um, you have to, we don't have any way of um, making it fruitful. It has flowers, but um, we haven't gone around and did the germination ourselves or the fertilizing. But this tree is. I love the leaves. I love how beautiful they are and they're soft and fuzzy. Next to that, they have this grapefruit tree and it has over eight grapefruits that I counted earlier as I was walking by. And they have this set up now that they put their plants and things together so it kind of gets protection from the sun, their buckets and, and such. And um, here they found a place to put all their soil and pots and such. A little tidiness. And this tree, I forget what kind of fruit it is. Um, I do forget what kind of fruit it is, but it's a fruiting tree. More dra dragon fruit in the rear there. And this is a sugar cane. Look at how tall it gets. But it's all leaves up there. But this is where I got my sugar cane from my parents here. And it's already growing shoots, so I love it. Here's a loquat tree. And another one down there. This is a kefir lime tree. Quite tall. Dragon fruit. This is some kind of plant that is heavily scented when it has flowers. And then over here growing quite quite well is 
Sorry about the shaking. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Lots of passion fruit hidden in there. And it grows really well. Maybe someday they can put an awning over here and it'll give them shade every summer. Here is um, another white guava tree. See the guava? It always makes fruit in the spring and summer. And this is a white sapote, I believe. Some decorative plants. A papaya tree. They've offered me some papaya trees, but every time they offer it to me, I kill it unintentionally. So it's kind of a good thing that they have their own. I mean, that they kept it. Here's a baby longan tree that they propagated. Two of them, in fact. So that one's in that pot and that one's in the other pot. And some herbs. I'm not sure if that's a mango tree. Here's another cherry moya tree with the soft leaves. <clears throat> and then one that he propagated into this pot here. Oh look! It's got a fruit on it and a baby fruit. How cute! Oh, and this one has it. And then over here is their longan tree. They have lots of longan. Lots and lots of longan. Lots. So this tree, they chopped um, some of the branches, thinned it out last year and the year before and last year it didn't have very many fruit and then this year it recuperated and it may it's making lots of fruit again look at this brack of fruit and they've been harvesting all summer um, we just haven't been coming around too much so we didn't get to enjoy much of it but now we get to take some home Below the longan tree is this amaranth and various herbs that they grow here. This almost looks like a baby longan from the seed, like a seedling. And here is a mango tree that I grew from seed for, and I gave it to them. And they plan on transplanting a different variety onto the um, grafting a different variety onto it. And then here's a papaya, two papayas growing in the same pot. Sorry about the background noise, it's the AC's on because it's really hot. Um, it was 100 degrees today. So here's some sweet potato leaves, some jewels of opar plants, which by the way are edible. And this. This looks familiar, but I don't know exactly what it is. Oh, I wonder if it's a star fruit. I have to use my plant identifier. And some brassica greens. Nice fresh ones. Cilantro. Back there are some Sansevieria, some dumb ca some cane, elephant uh, food. By the way, you can eat that, the elephant food. It's a succulent, has a tangy taste. And up there is a, another papaya with a brack of fruits as well. Little baby papaya, another baby papaya, and some kind of tree, I'm not sure what it is. Some lemongrass back there by the shed, and some Malabar spinach. 
near the shed and growing up that pole. Over here, some of this wandering Jew, but supposedly you can make a tea out of it and it's medicinal, but I'm not 100% on that. Not Maybe not this one, but that purple one, not 100%. Don't take my advice <laughs> on that one. I'm not sure about that at all. Usually I am about certain things and I would let you know that. So here's some fragrant Thai basil. Love it. My mom grows the healthiest herbs. Mine always um, falter. That's some kind of vegetable. It looks like plantain, but it could be charred. Jewels of Opar, a chili pepper plant. A citrus plant, tangerine I believe. And up here, which I can't believe I miss looking down are all the persimmons on the persimmon tree and this year they are huge they're bigger than you and then past years oh my goodness i missed all that oh my gosh that is so big those are huge fruit wow so they'll be ready when they turn a pumpkin orange they look like miniature pumpkins gorgeous so next to the um, persimmon tree is this pomegranate tree and it has several pomegranates and it's this pomegranate is sandwiched between the persimmon and the longan tree so it is a food forest and here is a jujube and I think they chopped it down really good so this year it doesn't have very many fruits but look at the shiny beautiful leaves and they have that striation specific to it. Below the jujube is all this Okinawan spinach. It's purple on one side, green on the other. Jewels of Opar that volunteers itself everywhere. And this um, thin sansevieria that I gave them. More Thai basil. I mean, I don't know how she has such a green thumb. They're so lush. This is a chili pepper plant. It looks like, um, when it's bigger, it's like the same shape, but like a little lantern and it's bright red. Here it is. Sorry for that air conditioner. I'm getting closer and closer to it. I believe this is bitter melon. Now that I recognize the shape of the leaves. I'll have to ask my mom. More, a second chili pepper plant. And it's really spicy, this variety. And under the chili peppers are various herbs. So there's mints. There's green onions. They've made the walking paths uh, a lot bigger and have uh, removed quite a few plants. They used to have a lot more. Um, some more herbs. This is shizo. It's a Japanese vegetable herb. A lot more basil. Basil forever. Basil, 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 basil. This is chives. This is amaranth, shizo, plantain, um, one of those euphorbias, pink colored, another guava tree. She loves this variety. This looks like a chili pepper plant. Just looking at the leaves and the, the shape of the flowers, it is indeed. Indeed. It's very spicy. She says it's um, pointed upwards and it's like a purplish black color. Here's a little banana tree. Another jujube tree. Um, some tomato plants that are waning. 
a bell pepper plant, amaranth, sweet potato leaves, basil, shizo, another uh, pomelo tree, quite large. So I brought some seeds from my collection. So I brought my collection of seeds, things that my mom's likely to eat and enjoy. So I asked her which ones she wanted and she wants some onions. So I'm going to give her some seeds. 